Hey guys, it's B. Scott here. So today, I'm going to be giving you a review of the Sugar Rush event that's taking place at Square One in Mississauga. So, first off, this event is from California. So that's pretty cool. So I went there. Uh, the lineup to go in wasn't too bad. But now, I did have a few concerns. One, there was zero social distancing inside the event. And two... There, there was not any enforcement of wearing masks. Now, to be fair, I don't know if there were rules about wearing it or not because they were not posted anywhere. They need to make it clear if you have to wear a mask in there or if not. As well, I found that a lot of the staff were not enforcing uh, social distancing rules. Um, there were huge huge lineups for the concession stands um and yeah people just weren't social distancing but still i had fun at the event there were a lot of of different art displays a lot of different interesting things um as well for some of you amusement enthusiasts near the end of the event there are some floats uh, from the santa claus parade here in toronto as well there are some floats uh, from the Mardi Gras parade, which uh, used to be at uh, the CNE. So I actually noticed that. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, they had them all decorated for a for a. Hold on. <sighs> I all kind of tired for a sugar rush, which was the event. Another thing that I didn't like was there was like a photo op area where where like you could take photos with stuff and uh people were lined up and it was really bad lining really really bad lines but not only that no one was moving so like there was no uh, security at the photo op booth or any staff to basically tell you to move along so basically my uh, friend and i were waiting to take a selfie inside the photo op area and then these two ladies they uh, they just kept on taking selfies. So we finally said, hey, uh, we actually want to go in there and take selfies. Oh, okay, we're sorry. So I definitely think that need that uh, for the photo op area, they definitely need to add some sort of staff or maybe a security guard to help to help to keep traffic flow because not having anyone there is basically just a cause for fights as well as a fire hazard because of the lineups as well as a COVID hazard because there's no social distancing. <coughs> there were some staff I did notice though. I think there were actors to be more honest because like there were a few actors uh, uh, throughout the experience who were just like dancing and stuff. Well, these two actors were sitting there and they were doing nothing and they were playing on their phone. Well, you really should have been helping out Oh, uh, with the traffic flow for the photo op area. But anyways, so there were a few food vendors there. There was a lemonade stand. There was also something called a cotton candy uh, burrito, which I did not try and was very overpriced. And as well, near the end of the experience, there was like a little theme park area. Honestly, uh, there was like one or two rides. I think there was a merry-go-round and that was it. As well, there was a... There was an amusement game called Pop the uh, uh, Balloons. And there was also... Whew, there, uh, oh, there was also a Tiny Tom's Donut Truck, which is awesome because they have that at the CNE. So yeah, so my rating for uh, Sugar Rush, I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5. Um... So for the parking, it was okay. It was actually free parking because this event is taking place at Square One Mall, which is in Mississauga. So yeah, so the parking was free, so that was pretty good. Um, my only thing is I wish that they had done more enforcement of COVID-19 uh, health and safety measures and as well as uh, a better traffic flow in uh, the photo op area. But uh, besides those two things, I think the event went really well. All right, guys, have a great rest of your night.